Inside of today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the most underrated and overrated brawlers within the game right now. Also, if you're not subscribed already, make sure you subscribe because over 60% of you guys aren't subscribed. We've got some bangers on the way. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. So first up on the underrated list, we have Pam. So Pam right now, I did put her really low on the rankings, but that's because I literally never see her in Power League or Ladder anymore. But I think people are definitely underrated Pam. She's actually really good with the gadget, especially at countering tanks. I just feel like people are underrating her specifically when it comes down to like gem grab, for example, because she used to always be picked as like a mid, uh, because of course, like mids nowadays kind of get countered too easily by tanks, but if you've got a Pam, you know you're always safe with those gadgets, but I just think over time, I think people realize that Pam's actually a really strong brawler within this meta. She's definitely been overlooked, you know, especially in games like Hot Zone, Knockout. I think she can hold a lot of value. So next up on the under rated list we have bonnie so bonnie for me is definitely like an s tier brawler in heist i don't see my randoms pick bonnie too often so a lot of times i just got to ban her out but as i said s tier on heist she's so strong on every single heist map so uh in the game right now even safe zone i think she's really strong because literally every single time you get your super you're guaranteed damage because you can just jump across the map onto the safe so i just think Bonnie definitely holds a lot of value in certain game modes. And I just think overall, you know, I've seen a few people just push Bonnie to Masters this season. And it would just be so easy. So I just feel people are overlooking her, even myself included. And she's probably a bit more stronger than I made out before. So moving on to the next underrated brawler on the list, we have Gale. So Gale, I feel like I wrote off Gale quite quickly. I know he's definitely more so on the weaker side within the meta because of how long it takes to get his super. But I think... People will start to adapt to his playstyle and he will start countering tanks pretty well again. It's be just because before he used to just brainlessly counter tanks, you know, he used to cycle with super with two shots instead of three before. He used to have a 10 second gadget, so he was just way too uh, good against tanks before. But I think if you start playing it more careful, you know, not just spamming your super everywhere, just making sure you actually connect the shots. I think Gale's actually a really good counter to those tanks and he actually does a surprising amount of damage. So I think over time, you know, he might start coming back into the meta because he's such a good counter to a lot of the meta tanks right now, like Sam and Buzz. So next up on the underrated list, we have at Sam. So Sam within certain regions is like the best brawler within the game. I just think he's a really solid last pick on multiple game modes and maps. The only thing you gotta be careful of is those other tanks because they can counter him. But for me, he definitely has the high carry potential. You know, a good Sam can easily win so many different matches, especially if the Brawler is below like 4,200 HP. It's just such an easy matchup for Sam because it literally takes two supers to kill them. And of course, they can just throw them across the map. So for me, in every single game mode, Sam is really strong, but of course, he is limited and he actually does require quite a fair bit of skill because me myself i can't use sam so moving on to the final underrated brawler on my rankings i have grace so great right now you might well you might not believe you might believe that he is the best brawler within the game all the pros seem to agree that he's like a top five brawler within the game but still in the comment section and within a lot of the community i see people saying that gray is really weak but of course i just feel like we're really missing out on just how strong this uh super is like i literally say it time and time again it's the best super within the game so uh for me it's just all about cycling it and making sure uh that you know the opponents are like two shot or three shot a ball and it does a surprising amount of damage and up close it's really easy to hit those shots just making sure with gray as well you're playing as a team because if you can get a really good tp with like a tank for example there's just no way that the enemies can really deal with it so it's all about team synergy and surprising the opponent so now moving on to the overrated brawlers within the meta starting off with rico so it's a little bit unfortunate because rico of course it's one of my favorite brawlers but for me he definitely is really overrated so whenever i'm playing power league uh, especially in like maps like Hard Rock Mine and Pit Stop. You know, he used to be the best brother on those maps. He used to be good against everything. So for me, I just don't think he offers as much value. Whenever I face off against a Rico, I'd say 99% of the time, I think it's just such an easy matchup, especially those tankier last pick brothers like Buzz, for example. They're just countering way too hard, especially with a lot of different brothers in the game right now. I can easily close the gap to a Rico. He just can't defend himself against anyone that is up close to him, especially his gadget being nerfed multiple times. And if you do land on top of a Rico, it's going to cancel out his gadget and not uh, allow him to heal up. So for me, he just isn't that type of brawler right now. I just don't think there's a real map in the game he thrives on anymore. So next up on the overrated list, we have Bo. So Bo, if you guys know it or watch my Power League games, you'd know how much this brawler frustrates me because 
I'd say my team just end up picking Bo no matter what. And he just isn't that type of ruler. For me, he's only really strong in knockout. Maybe usable in high, so at least his mines can cover the zone. But in every other game mode, it's just so easy to take down. Like, if I see an enemy draft a Bo, I just know they're terrible nine times out of ten. So, yeah, for me, Bo, people just need to stop picking him and stop living in the past. He used to be such a strong ruler. Maybe low down in, like, the gold ranks is pretty good because people don't know how to dodge his mines. But as the game kind of develops and it, as, as you go higher in the rankings, it just isn't that great. So, moving on to the next overrated ruler, we have a Griff. So, Griff, for me... Doesn't really serve too much of a purpose in the meta. I think the best thing about him right now is actually just his gadget, his wall break. A lot of the times can allow you and your team to push up, and especially in maps, well, game modes like Rubble and also Heist like Safe Zone. But other than that, I just think he is really weak, especially since the supercharge nerf. I didn't actually think that would nerf him too much, but as time has gone on, it's really hurt him. Before, you could easily charge your super back within an interaction and now it just feels a little bit weak you do really rely off his wall breaks to get a lot of value with your teammates uh, but still there's just a lot of brawlers as well in the meta that can just easily take him down and even those tankier brawlers can just destroy griff you know for example like a buzz i'd say more so often than not buzz will just destroy a griff so yeah, he's really the best right now. Next up for the overrated brawlers, we have at Squeak. So Squeak, for me, used to always be such a strong last pick. I used to always be afraid of facing off against a Squeak last pick, but also always picking a Squeak last pick. But now, ever since, I don't, I don't know what's really changed because I know there's a lot of tankier options, but as I mentioned, you always used to be a last pick and normally you don't have to worry about, about tanks and stuff, but it just isn't as powerful. I just feel like whenever I face off against a Squeak, it's just so easy to deal with him, even with his gadgets, even on those toxic maps like Dueling Beetles. He just doesn't offer the value anymore. And I just think it's so easy to overwhelm a Squeak. So I just think he's drastically gone down in the rankings. And finally, moving on to the final overrated brother. For me, it has to be Buster. So Buster, ever since the balance changes, I've played so many games with him trying to like test out why some pros think he's a good ruler you know some game modes like brubble when you group up you can start just chaining your supers pretty well but i just don't think buster is that great anymore before he used to just wreck everyone in 1v1 interactions but every single time i seem to play buster every single 1v1 i have they end up just like one shot or just really weak maybe he's just a different type of brawler now and i need to get used to it but he just doesn't feel anywhere near as strong and especially other tanks just offer a lot more value especially in the 1v1s you want to be you know especially with a tank you should be able to easily win 1v1s against squishy brawlers but still with buster it's pretty hard to even take down like a brock in close range so for me i just think he's very overrated because still some people in the comments think he's like the best brawler in the game but he's just so easy to counter. All right, guys, it's going to be it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know what you think is the most underrated brawler and also the most overrated. Of course, some of these picks still might be good at your level. Like Bo, for example, he actually is pretty decent probably until you get to like Mythic. Uh, so, of course, do use Bo at lower ranks because it's going to be pretty easy to get kills with mines. But as I said, like still people think Bust is really strong, but I don't really see him often at all anymore and then underrated picks is more so the picks that i end up picking in power league and it ends up working out but i don't see it too often so yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video guys hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time